Uh, hello everyone, my name is Chia Rao. I'm the sort author of the paper Single RGBD Fitting, Total Human Molding with an RGBD Short. And now I will start the presentation on this paper. First, let's talk about reality world briefly. Reality world can be roughly divided into two directions, multiple shorts based methods and single short based ones. Both of them can be divided into three types according to the source, RGB depths and RGBD measures. Multiple shots based methods require caption several times, therefore they can be inconvenient for certain practical applications. Single shot based methods are more convenient, however they still cannot recover full 3D modes with rich details, such as hand and head. Now I begin to introduce our work, which we call single RGBD fitting. Here is our here is the pipeline of our method. For an RGBD short, we first estimate the full body skeleton by compound skeleton estimation method, and then we fit in a body template SMPL plus H with a cross to five strategy. In cross step, a cross model is obtained by fitting the skeleton with a standard body template SMPL plus H. In the five step, we take head pose. Okay. We take head pose and the small point cloud as constraints to refine the cross model so that a file one with hand orientation and hand details is obtained. We now show the details of our method. First, I need to introduce two related human models, SMPL and SMPL plus H. SMPL is a popular, widely used statistical human model. Different from the scape model, SMPL takes a vertex-based skinning approach. This is the modeling of SMPL. Beta and theta are the chip parameter and the post parameter respectively. J are the joint position in reciprocals. W are the branding weights for verses. And here is a skinning function to generate the appearance of body. The new joint position are updated by the function on the bottom. Uh, SMPR process is reasonably proposed. It is a SMPL model in coverage with additional hands due to the hand model comb model. Consequently, SMPL plus H has additional 14 hand key points for each hand. The pose of each hand is represented by six element vector. Totally, there will be 6,890 vertices in SMPL plus H. It also has 50 key points for joints. We now show composed skeleton refinement to obtain a complete skeleton, including hands and the main body. The original skeleton is obtained by the Kinet SDK. You may also try other methods to obtain a main body skeleton. The main body skeleton obtained can be unstable sometimes, so uh, therefore we encourage LCNI to refine it. So, how to refine the skeleton? We take a geometrical way, as uh, the example shown here. For the legs of this subject, we can see Knight obtains a wrong key point JB prime. Why it is correct in LCI Knight? To update the main body, we take the Knight skeleton as basis and update it with LCI Knight. Here, J, A, and J, B are the corresponding joints, and I, phi is the angle between J, A, J, B, and the unit vector U. Of the negative J, A, we can transfer the direction of I, phi, but keep the, length, keep the length of J, A. Consequently, the J, B prime can be updated to its correct position, J, B star. This is an example result of the main skeleton refinement. The position of two M key points from Kinite are wrong. We can see the LCI Knight successfully correct the wrong joints from Kinite. For the hand skeletons, we take the method from Zermer et al. Hand 3D to estimate hand pose and then embed them into the refined main skeleton. Finally, we obtain a correct fully body skeleton with hand details. We now show the energy function to compute the model iteratively based on the composed skeleton. This function consists of several parts. The data term e-data fits model to 
already joins. An EP, ESP, and ESC are ship and post pile. EH is hand post pile, and EC is point cloud pile. In the computation, our method encourages several RGB image based deep learning methods for smoothing point cloud and molding the full body. Uh, in order to get a smooth point cloud as input, we first add apply CRF RNN to obtain a smooth foreground from RGB image. This foreground then help reducing the noise of point cloud. Uh, for ship continuity construct, we try to avoid large variation of body model during fitting. Our experiment shows that minor shift variations during iteration may need to quite different and even strange shifts. Therefore, we constrain the shift variation between nimble iterations so that a smooth transition can be obtained. As shown in this equation, for this example, we can see the traditional method bungle at all. They only consider a smooth of the shift in each iteration. For our proposed head post pile, the post estimated by Kinect is taken to constrain the hand post of the model. Here, phi h is hand post estimated from cloud, and y eta h is the hand post estimated by Kinect. Phi h can be computed through three key points, which are measurely simplified and fixed for all clouds. Here is an example we can see the hand post constraint can help obtain a correct and post exit venti. For the point cloud pile, apparently, all mode vertices or points should stay inside the cloud. So we propose additional turn in traditional cloud pile. In this equation, VM is model point to estimate, and KC is a labeling of VM. KC VM the VM is set to 1 when it's inside the cloud and 0 when it's outside the cloud. When VM is outside, the new term will take effect with a penalty added. Larger penalty will be obtained if we set number 1 significantly larger than number 0. Consequently, a small model without outside model points are obtained. Now we briefly review the optimization process. This process is divided into two stages. First, we recover general shape and pose. In this stage, WH and WC are set to zero. In the coming stage, we compute the accurate model. And please refer to our paper for more details on how to send parameters. Here are seven shots on the same subject. We can see that our method can effectively, effectively model the whole human shape, including hands and head orientation. We will show more details on the experiment with the video demo. Here are comparisons with different methods. We compare our methods to Simplify, MBF, and HMR. Simplify takes 2D skeleton for optimization while MBF and HMR are deep learning based methods with a single image. We can see that our method can obtain the best performance among all methods here. This is a quantitative comparison based on the ground truth body modes. Here we use hand map to shoot errors, the bluer the smaller. We can see our method is close to ground truth among all methods. Oh, no, uh, now I'm closing my presentation. In this presentation, I introduce our work, our single RGBD feed, our single RGBD short, based fully body molding method called SRDF. It adopts both RGB and depth image for an effectively fully body molding, including hand orientation and hand details. Our method also have some, have some shortcomings. Roughly, they can be divided into three steps. Skeleton related 
deep learning related and, and optimization related. We need more robust skeleton and deep learning methods and more effectively con <coughs> and more effectively constraints. Those are the future works we can dig and explore. Okay, thanks a lot for your attention. I now show a demo of our method. Thank you.